is a story. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, welcome to your February Alchemy Scope. You are indeed transmuting from lead to gold. Your energy is refining. Your stories are refining. Let's take a look at, as we look at this beautiful rainy day, let's take a look at the Sabian symbol imbued at the new moon point happening this month on the 27th of January, Friday, at 4.06 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This new moon point is the point that the alchemy scopes follow. So let's look what is the Sabian symbol that's living at the 8 degree 15 minute point in the zodiac wheel. This is a flag is seen turning into an eagle. That's the symbology. Dane Rudyard's keynote is... The dynamic incorporation of new social values in individuals who exemplify the spiritual potential and greatest significance of these values. He goes on to explain to see the new archetype, to perceive the new standard of value with one's mind is not enough. The seer must become the doer. The impersonal is dynamized and brought into focus. We have here the acting out of the vision. Everyone, what this is talking about is the ideal becoming real, the archetype in the mind becoming the actuality in physical 3D reality. That is the symbology imbued. It means that the month ahead is going to be living in the energy of bringing the new form of individual, bringing the new form of society to a new level. Now, we also are moving into a new Chinese year. And this is the year of the rooster, okay? Now, I'm reading here from my archetypal uh, profile definitions for the rooster. So, when you imagine a rooster, and you imagine the quality sets of the rooster, you can imagine energy, a vocal nature, some a being who is efficient, and who is assertive. So, if you are a rooster, so if your Chinese zodiac sign is a rooster, you would have the Im embedded quality sets, the encoded qualities of efficiency, somebody who is methodical and resilient and resourceful. You would naturally be, at your basis, a resourceful strategist. Um, roosters are dominant and highly communicative by nature. The archetype is inherently intense, outspoken, honest, outgoing, and industrious. Now, it's important for us to understand that this year of the rooster is going to imbue these qualities. So we're starting, we're going from the year of the monkey into the year of the rooster. So there is going to be an intensity, there's going to be an outspoken nature, a verbal nature, um, and an assertive nature, a dominant nature that's coming forward. And I think that's happening at all levels, within the individual and within the societal whole, within humanity. So let's move on now to the individual readings and see what is activated for you this month. Aries, welcome to your February alchemic journey. What is your narrative this month for your growth and evolution? So you can see here the um, circle and the square. 
This is referring to the two branches of your Aries narrative, the bifurcation that I talked about that came about at the end of 2016 that I sent, sensed very strongly earlier in 2016. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can listen to January's Alchemy Scopes. Okay, so um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shuffle here the Carolyn Mace Archetype cards. This is for your growth edge. I do this every month. And we're gonna, I'm gonna pull it for the square path and for the circle path. So what are the distinct growth edges for both? So I'm going to have you meditate. Please choose one. I'm not going to take that because I'm still focusing on square. So we're going to reshuffle. And usually when one falls out, I would take it. But that didn't feel right. So go ahead and start tuning in because I only want you to select one. Okay, and then for Aries Circle, that wanted to come right out. Okay, so Angel and Femme Fatale. So we're going to talk about these um, after we talk about the readings, all right? So Angel for Square, Femme Fatale for Circle, which popped right out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the reveal. Put the video on pause if you need more time. All right, beauties. So Aries, let's take a look at this. So you can see the yellow bordered cards. This is the, and you can't see all of them, but I'm gonna pull them up to the camera. Um, this is the Brawl to Lay deck. Here is my Siri deck. And in the middle of each is the um, Druidcraft Tarot. So let's start with the square narrative. Rebirth, this is the judgment card. Um, in the Druid craft, it's called Rebirth. So you can see here, this really is about heeding the call, hearing the call and addressing it, confronting it, heeding it, okay? So it is about being, um, from a time of maybe not listening, it's now you're listening and you're heeding that call. Now here, the Brawl to Lay is talking about higher forces and perseverance. This is a very good thing because the higher level forces card here is talking about um, the source field. You know, it's talking about powerful cycles, natural cycles. It's talking about the power of your higher, you as source. So it's you as source and it's also the source field. It's very powerful. Perseverance is progressing with, keeping going with. So for you, with rebirth, perseverance, and higher level, what this is saying is, at the core, you are progressing, listening to, and progressing with that which is calling you now to take action, or that which is calling you now to make a change. Rebirth is about a new cycle, essentially. So let's talk about what is coming up here. So we can see here that the fight card is coming up in the spiritual sector. So the interesting thing is, because fight is coming up in the spiritual sector for the Aries squares, this is indicative of having spiritual inquiry going on that's pretty deep and profound, especially with the fact that the higher level forces card is coming in the center. So this is about significant inquiry about God, source, religion, suffering, the narratives that humans are living. You know, it. this is about deep questioning. This is about really you know, putting up some resistance around source, around spirit, around religion, around dogma, around story, spiritual story, okay? So there's some tension that's within the Aries squares, but the beautiful thing is in the center of this reading, again, is the perseverance with it. So even though you are having some inquiry this month's deep spiritual inquiry, Indeed, you're persevering, you're continuing, you're keeping the faith in, in your way during this cycle. And the beautiful thing is at the base of the reading is the love card and the doorway card. And then up at the top in the mental sector, opening. So at the foundation, 
there's this doorway, a portal to love, agape love, source field. And it could be, by the way, it could be relationship love, but I have to tell you, I don't think that's what this is talking about. I think this is a much more profound storyline. For those of you that understand what I'm talking about, this is like a deeper narrative that's going on for the Aries squares. So opening, your thoughts are around opening to a new door. And look at this. I mean, the rebirth card is an open door. In this particular image, he's walking through a, a, a um, what do you call that? I mean, it's like a tomb, you know, but it's, but it's upright as opposed to kind of standing up out of a, out of a coffin. It's a tomb and he's walking out of the doorway. So there is an opening there, right? So your thoughts are around opening to a new storyline and maybe there is some level of, even though there is some inquiry and fight going on over the course of this month, there is a doorway it's a loving doorway and you're feeling it. And that's what's, you know, kind of um, progressing or allowing you to persevere in your trust and faith, your spiritual trust and faith. And indeed, emotionally, there is activity or movement that is healing this month. So you're feeling a healing energy from, again, this fight energy, spiritual fight. It could be that the fight is waning that you've been in a in a space of the last few months perhaps of deep deep inquiry and again it looks like february is going to manifest some activity toward a healing energy okay now let's talk about circle and then we'll move on to the growth edges so here we have the four of pentacles reversed for the aries circles Four of Pentacles upright is about containment of and protection of money and possessions. When it's reversed, it's about opening up and lightening the grip on the purse strings. It's about uh, becoming more generous and more giving with that which you have to give. Um, here, specifically, Aries, it's talking about friends. So querent is you. Friends are probably tribe, but it could be a friend, but most likely this is just about the topic of friends. So for you and how you relate to people, this month, the main topic is to let go of any constriction or tightness or containing that you do with regards to how you present yourself to friends, to group, to people, to relationships. So it's about becoming more generous with you with your energy, with your engagement. Um, let's go here. I mean, spiritually, again, there's a process going on. So with the squares, we had the perseverance card. Here, there's um, a process that you're undergoing spiritually. Now, again, keep in mind, there was the fight over here. So there's the struggle that you are now healing for the squares. Here, there is a process that you're moving through as well that is um, of benefit to you. It's optimal that you're moving through it. Now, to look at what it is, let's take a look here. I haven't really looked at it. So we have um, emotional protection. Now, this protection in the emotional area, which is this part of the spread, is talking about the four of pentacles upright so there's a protect an emotional protective mechanism that you're thinking about this month okay and you are wanting to return or revisit how you are protective and how you don't express very much less emotions so you're reflecting about and you're returning to reflection thinking about how you emote or express yourself emotionally less with people. You are self-protective, okay? And so for the circles, for the Aries circles, you're thinking about that this month. And there's some clarity that indeed comes. The clarity of mind that comes for you has to do with how you are cautious. So new awareness about how you are cautious, beware, with regards to the center card, which is friends. 
okay? I wanna make sure you're clear on this. You're gonna see clearly circles this month, how you have new clarity around how you are cautious. This is a great thing. So that new clarity around how you are cautious and emotionally self-protective is going to hopefully instigate a opening up a generosity with how you interact with people. Very powerful, very clear message. Now, let's take a look at what came up for you. So, and that femme fatale is over there. So let's talk about angel first for the squares. Angel is your growth edge. This is what you are to mature this month. So for angel, for the squares, you are to move out of acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, to, you're, to move out of falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. Very important, this topic for a lot of people. Very important. What wants to happen is helping those in need with no expectation of return. This is just letting uh, love source field move through you with no expectation of anything. That's the growth edge. Beautiful. And again, you have love right here, right? So th this is about a new flow of love moving through you. For the squares, it's more of a spiritual kind of reckoning. Here, it's more with regards to relationships for the circles. So the growth edge for you is femme fatale, okay? For you, Aries, what wants to be moved out of and evolved from is the inappropriate use of sensuality, huge issue, and an attachment to money and power. That's what wants to be released, let go of this month, matured. What wants to be evolved into is highlighting the erotic energy of the feminine and opening your heart when your dependency is rejected. Because what this is talking about is this, emotional protection. This is talking about staying open, remaining open to friends, to relationship, to opportunities, possibility, conversations, etc when rejection is experienced, even with rejection. So this is a, an excellent, excellent guidance for you. All right, now Aries, for both of you, what I've pulled also is um, the I Ching, and as I do every month, so the I Ching narrative is also pulled and your Dakini embodiment guidance. And so to see those and to learn about ordering your 2017 evolutionary story video from me, uh, you can go to thealchemyofholism.com slash library and all of your information is in there. So everybody, I wish you a really newly empowering month in February and I'll see you again next month. Bye everybody.